All right, so in this video, we're going to cover functions with multiple return values. In my prior video, I covered functions, how to create them, and um, how to create them with or without parameters and return values. So this is kind of a continuation of that. This is actually a continuation of that. So why would a function need to return multiple return values? So Usually a function um, can return a tuple type, and I've covered tuples in a prior video, but basically it's the same deal. Basically you have a function that you want to return uh, two values. So it's a compound return value, and as we covered before, a tuple is a logic grouping um, based on what the developer wanted or thought was relevant to group together, and that creates an ordered list of elements. So let's see how to do that with functions. So let's create a function that takes a list of numbers and sorts through them. And in that sorting, it sorts out the even and the odd numbers. So let's go ahead and create the function. So do the keyword function, let's do sort <clears throat> numbers. Actually, I should just say sort even odd numbers. So we're really clear about what this function does. Let's not have amb uh, let's not have function names that are too ambiguous, right? So let's create our first parameter, which we're going to name numbers because we're going to create it. We're going to put in a list into this function, and the best way to create a list is just to create array. So this is going to accept an array of numbers of type int, and then it's going to output our even and odd numbers. So we'll do the little arrow, our parentheses, because this is a tuple, we need parentheses, right? And so the first part of the tuple, we're going to have even numbers, and that is going to sort through the list of numbers that we input, and we're going to put that into an array. So any number that's even will be put into this array. And then we're going to do the same thing for odd numbers. Okay, so there we go. We have our one parameter which accepts a, an array of numbers. And then we have our tuple return value, which returns multiple values, in this case, even and odd. So just two in this case. Let's do a little brackets. Oops, let's back up. Little brackets. Okay, so let's go ahead and create um, two arrays to temporary, temporarily store our sorted of numbers. So we're going to have our even number array, and we're just going to create just an empty array for this. So we do int, kind of parentheses. And same thing for our odd numbers. All right, and now we need to we need to actually create the logic to sort through um, the the list of numbers to determine if if they're odd or even. So, let's go ahead and do that. So the best way to go through a list or an array uh, is using a for in loop. So we'll go, let's go ahead and use that. So for number in array numbers, we're going to do a bracket. And now we're going to do the logic that will determine whether the number that is passed through is odd or even. And how we do that is with modulus, which is, um, so we do a number, if number, and kind of percent sign. And what this does is it takes the number that we're dividing by, in this case two, it will output the remainder. So say if this was, we're dividing five divided by two, the remainder will be, I believe, one half. Yes. So in this case, 
we want to be even. So if it's 2 divided by 4, it divides evenly into it. So the remainder will be 0 in this case. So that will determine that it's going to be an even number. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our even number array. We're going to append it the number because it passed this logic test here. Okay? And then if it doesn't pass, it means that it's on automatically. And so we're going to tack on the number to our odd number array. Okay. So there we go. It'll sort through and it'll stick whatever number is odd or even in the right little bucket. Okay, so we need to do our return statement because our function is, or our compiler is yelling at us to do so. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to take our even number array because at the end, once once and we go through this for loop, it's going to sort through everything. So we're just going to tack on the array for the even and odd numbers. All right. So let's see if this works. So so let's create a constant that. Um, so it's a list of numbers. I'm going to have that just equal some random numbers. So you can just enter whatever you want. Oops. Comma 13. All right. Random, random list of numbers. So, about that. And now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do a let's go ahead and put our list of numbers into our um, function. Okay, let's go ahead and actually see this output. So as you see it actually did sort correctly. We have all the even numbers above and all the odd numbers below. Or in this case, our first element, our even number element, contains all even numbers, and our second element contains all odd numbers. So we have a really nice looking tuple here. So let's actually make this a little bit easier to work with. So let's actually assign the the return, the tuple that's returned from sort even numbers function into a constant. So we do sorted numbers. Just make it easy. And so we've assigned the result, the tuple that results from sort even numbers to our sorted numbers constant. And now we can we actually print this out really nicely. Uh, Go ahead and do that. So the even numbers are, and then we'll just have it output the even numbers. So do string interpolation, pass in our sorted numbers constant. And how do we get the even numbers? Well, if you remember from work with tuples before, all we need to do is tack on the name because this is a named, we've actually named the tuple in our return value. So in this case, that's exactly what we do. We, we tack it in. So what should output is all the even numbers, which is absolutely correct. And then we could do the same thing. Oops. Do the same thing. Copy this. Let me just <laughs> replace even with odd. Again, use odd because We've named it up here. We named our tuple odd, right? And sure enough, it outputs our odd numbers. So yeah, this is we've gone through and had fun with uh, functions with multiple return values.